the truth about this COVID. Yes. It is a disease. Yes, I mean, it is a virus. And, uh, and I prayed and I prayed and I asked God about this. And in the meantime, I had a doctor friend in the Bahamas who told me to take uh, zinc and uh, elderberry and vitamin C. And so I was doing that. But when those doctors, those frontline doctors came out and revealed that there was a cure for COVID, if you get it treated right away, it will cure you. And if you notice, and if you hadn't noticed that even that President Trump at that time took that hydrochlorophane and he got better, he was in the hospital, they gave him that medicine. But what we were all told that, you know, it doesn't work or whatever. But that medicine been on the field over 60 years and it has helped people. They have been treating, doctors have been treating people for COVID. And, um, and, and at that time when I heard those doctors who came out on the front line, the black woman who talked about it, they, they condemned her so badly because of her Christianity and her faith. But see, if you really know that what's on the air, What's on the air, the media, is that that's the, that's, the, that's the pathway for Satan. And he is the one who's given us, or we've been hearing all the false news. Now, we know that God is not a God of confusion. And, and what we've been hearing, one time they tell you wear a mask, then they tell you you don't have to, no, not to wear a mask, and then you have to wear a mask. Uh, you can get the COVID, uh, the vaccine, and it will and, and uh, it will help. But yet, it's still uh, you can still get COVID. All this is confusion, and God is not a God of confusion. Right. But what I found out from this doctor, Doctor Addis, I've been listening to a lot of different doctors who are really upset how the media is lying to us. And um, and one thing he was telling me, you know, when I told him that I had COVID, he told me that that COVID, um, I, I told him I had took some antibiotics that I had. I said, I don't know. I said, my doctor wasn't giving me anything, but I took some antibiotics. And, and I just kept praying. And he told me, he says, well, antibiotics only uh, cure from bacteria. But he said, because um, COVID is a virus, and he said that, uh, just believe that God healed you. Amen. And he said, Amen. He said, God healed you. Now, this is a doctor I never met, but I've been communicating him with him on, on uh, email and hearing the stories. And uh, Dr. Gold, another doctor, they fired her from telling people the truth. And what I just, like I said, my testimony is that God healed me. Yes. I had to have enough faith, but I kept praying, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth. Yes. And when those people came out and started telling the truth, I believed them. But see, everybody won't believe what That's you believe right. because right. you didn't ask. If you don't ask, we just talked about it. If you don't ask, you don't receive. You got to ask it. You got to ask the Holy Spirit, the one who's going to guide you in all truth. Because what we've been hearing is lies and lies and partial truth. People, God is a God of healers. He healed. He gave us the herbs and the seeds uh, for curing uh, our bodies, you know, when we're being under attack. But see, man has taken it and to trying to destroy us and kill us, you know? For what reason? It's envy, it's greed, it's power, it's control. That's all that's going on in this earth today. People are want, these people want control, and then we lose if we don't stand up as Christians, as a woman or a man of God, and stand up for the truth. Because what we're not hearing is the truth. Only the media is going to continue to lie and tell you. They tell you that the ones who haven't got vaccinated are the ones who spread it. But then from the doctors I talk to, it's the ones who are vaccinated 
are still the ones who still giving out the, the disease. That's right. So I'm, why I'm telling you this is because even this Dr. Artis, he's even said, if you can't get the, the uh, hydrochloroquine and that ivermectin or whatever, he said that you can make your own. And this is why I want to tell you, I say it's for you, because you can make your own medicine through the herbs that God has given us. And he told you take three grapefruits, you wash them really good, you get three lemons, and you wash them, and you peel the herbs off, the peel the herb, and you boil it for three hours, three hours. And when you boil it, first you let it, you let it boil, and then you let it simmer for three hours. And then he says, if you get sick, you can take that. That's all hydrochloroquine is. It's, it's grapefruit <laughs> and lemon. And I said, my people perish. The Lord said, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And I'm telling you, there is knowledge. There's things that we don't understand and we don't, we don't, we don't want to understand because we take one part of it and we listen to that one part. But you, have you asked God? Have you asked him to reveal to you what's true? And that's what I'm saying. I ask God, and I believe that that's how he revealed to me. There is a cure. There is medicine. There is something that can help you with this disease called COVID. And I'm telling you, I, I know for myself, I can't speak for you. I can't speak for you. But I can tell you what. My God spoke to me and gave me the Amen. answers. And then by me searching, by me searching yeah. and getting to know more about this thing, mm. I know that what the media is telling me is lies. Mm. And see, and what they're doing is still dividing. Mm -hmm. They're dividing yes, exactly. and they're trying to keep, and keep us all in fear. Yes. That's all it is. It's all about fear to keep us. Yes, people are dying. But I want to tell you one other thing. This other medicine that they give. See, you don't hear people dying in their homes from COVID. Where do they die? They're dying in the hospital. And they're giving them this called remdesivir. remdesivir, remdesivir, remdesivir. And that remdesivir is what it does. It floods up all your organs in your body. And they die by that. By them putting them up you on those ventilators. I'm telling you, you better know the truth. You better seek. You better seek and find. Because I'm telling you right now, I mean, I am, I am really, it, 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 it just eats me up inside to see how when the media keeps coming on, I don't really want to watch it, but I just want to hear what they keep saying. And they're trying to mandate this in your children. And if you find out what it's going to do to your children, you'll be, you'll be up. You should be lit. You should be real lit about what's right. going on. Right. Because right now, right. we are being lied to over and over again. Right. Now, my testimony is my whole testimony. I said, my, I was giving you my testimony. And my testimony is that God revealed the truth to me because I asked. Because I asked Amen. for the truth. And that's what I'm telling you. The truth will what? Set you free.